Welcome to Fabric Monday. Today we'll talk about notebooks and deployment pipelines and how to control the development life cycle of notebooks using deployment pipelines. Here is Power BI. I have some workspace here which are part of a development life cycle. Let's take a look on this workspace I have here. Sales Lake House in Sales Lake House Test. The idea is that this is the development workspace of the Lake House and this is the test workspace of the Lake House. And as well, I have a Sales Notebook and Sales Notebook Test. The development workspace for notebooks and the test workspace for notebooks. Of course, the development notebooks will be linked with the development lake house and the test notebooks will be linked with the test lake house what happens when i promote the notebooks from development to test that's where the deployment pipelines help us to ensure how the links the notebook has will be correct here we can see the workspace sales notebooks, our work, workspace for development environment, and on the other window, the sales notebooks test, our workspace for the test environment. And we can note that these notebooks are linked to the lake house called sales. So the notebooks are linked to the sales lake house. Let's create what's called a deployment pipeline. I'll give a name for my deployment pipeline. I'll call Sales Notebook. Next. Then I can customize the stage of my deployment pipeline. I can add the stage, remove stage, or change the name of the three available stages. So I can make a customization of the deployment pipeline. Let's leave these three stages and create. The deployment pipeline is being created and I started the creation of this deployment pipeline from the, the workspace that I would like to be my development workspace. So the deploy deployment pipeline is asking me, Okay, this workspace where he started is what? Development test or production. This is development. So let's assign this workspace to the development environment. And it shows us that we have two notebooks on the development environment. And I will assign another workspace, a different workspace for the test environment. The sales notebook test. This will be my test environment and this other workspace is empty. Since this other workspace is empty, it's already identified there is a difference. So I have two new items which I can deploy to this other workspace. Let's make a first deploy. So I'm deploying my notebooks from my development workspace to my test workspace, controlling my development life cycle. So it's green, meaning that the environments are equal, are absolutely the same. And I can take a look on the other workspace, sales notebook test. Let's make a refresh on this window. And here are the two deployed notebooks. However, these notebooks should not be linked with the sales lake house anymore. And if I open one of them, I will see they are still linked to the sales lake house. Here it is. The notebook is linked to the sales lake house as the default lake house of the notebook and that's not what I would like to have. I would like the notebooks on the test workspace to be linked to the test lake house. 
how to change that. We can create deployment pipeline rules and the rules are available for notebooks. I can create deployment pipeline rules for notebooks. So the rule will change the default lake house of the notebook. So when I add a rule, I change the source notebook from sales to another lake house. The sales lake house, which is being used in development, will be changed to another lake house. I need to choose order and I need to know the lake house ID. That's the difficult part. The UI, the user interface is not helping us. I need to have the lake house ID. So I would need to go to the lake house test, the lake house on the test workspace and get this ID. On this part, of the URL. This is the ID of the lake house. This is what I need to put on that field. So I go back there, I put this ID, and the name of the lake house is sales test. Save. So I created the rule for the maintenance script. I can repeat this rule for the optimization script. I get the source lake house and choose the target lake house. So this configuration will be changed when the notebook moves from one workspace to another. Close this symbol was green just a few minutes ago and now it's orange again showing that there were difference on this environment why because the rules are used on the calculation of difference if there is a difference or not and the rule changing the lake house from one lake house to another was not applied in order to apply the rule, I need to deploy again. So let's make a new deploy. I'll be deploying the two notebooks again. And it's green again. Now we have no difference. Let's take a look on the notebooks on the sales notebooks test. Let me open again the optimization test. And here it is. The notebook is linked to the sales test. So, when we move the notebooks from one workspace to the other workspace, from development to test, the rules on the deployment pipeline apply it to the notebook and change it the default notebook, making the process of promoting a notebook among the environments very easy. An important note is to mind how I broke down the workspaces. I have one workspace for the lake houses and I have a different workspace for the notebooks. You should not mix. If you can break down the objects, break down the objects. If you can break down the objects according to the full support they have for deployment pipelines and for source control, do so. The lake house at the moment has only partial support for deployment pipelines and source control. If you can break down, you will avoid many problems. Thank you for watching and see you next week.